there is a realm there are two things that we normally know body and mind body and mind are not separate from one another they are one realm body mind whatever happens to the body happens to the affects the mind whatever happens in the mind it affects the body this we see if there is a pain in the body or any kind of problem it affects the mind if there is any psychological problem it affects the mind so body comes into interact body comes into existence through the interaction of ovum and sperm mind is an interaction i am using the word interaction between ego and time mind is an interaction between ego and time ego is your identity you do not want to lose your identity and then time becomes relevant if you lose your identity then time becomes irrelevant there are moments when you are involved in an act totally from ego point identity point that i am doing this i am responsible for it you will remain conscious of time so mind in, is an interaction between ego and time ego your identity and then meditation is an interplay emphasis is on the word interplay between egolessness and timelessness when ego your identity is no more then time cannot exist you you are conscious of your body you are conscious of your actions so this is your identity i am a beautiful person i am good looking my body is well proportioned these are some of the things that we have about our body so it becomes our identity we are conscious of our identity if between the couples each one of them is conscious of their body the identity will remain a state of egolessness will not come and the state of timelessness will not come the moment for that between the couples if because of the identity they do not want to undress in front of one another this is the beginning this is the beginning and it should not be only for one moment or one act or something if it becomes a total phenomenon like when you come in the company of the master you are psychologically naked and that psychological nakedness brings the state of egolessness slowly and slowly and then his presence creates the another situation which is timelessness so meditation is an interplay between egolessness and timelessness when in any act any situation you have completely forgotten your identity physical psychological emotional so you have attained the state of egolessness so in that state when you are in any act that act will take you to the state of 
timelessness. And when there is an interplay between egolessness and timelessness, then meditation happens. The, you are conscious of your body. So when you are in an act of sex, then what happens? You are not conscious how your body moves. In normal situation, you will be ashamed of your body moving that way. But that moment, if ego remains, then you will be conscious, I should not move my body this way or that way, what people will think, what is expression on my face, how my hair gets disabled, so when all these things form the part of ego or identity, you forget all that. So you are in a total state of egolessness. You are not concerned how you are looking. You are not concerned you are physically naked, psychologically naked. Then egolessness, a state of egolessness comes. Identity vanishes. In the act of sex, we lost our identity. Maybe for temporarily for some time. But in meditation, this state remains on a permanent basis. The moment it happens, timelessness is a phenomenon of egolessness. You cannot go into the state of timelessness unless the first stage of egolessness is completed. You are working, you are aware that you are doing this work, you are cooking something, you are cooking, people should appreciate it, people should like it. So ego identity is there, you will not attain the state of timelessness. If you start any act, any act with a total state of egolessness, physical, psychological, emotional, then as, as a result automatically ego timelessness comes. And when timelessness and ego egolessness they interplay with one another, the state of meditation happens. It can happen in any act. It can happen at times in sex which we are not aware. If you are aware of this, then every act will become meditation for you. There are three Hindi words. Man is mind. Aman, it is suffix. A prefix is there. A is added. A means not. Mind, man means mind, mind is not, identity is not. Aman, chaman means cha is added, cha means and. When this state you are able to visualize, experience all around you, then it is called chaman. Then we add a prefix na, naman. Aman is one state, absence. Naman is an absence of mind. And that state of aman is known as you can bow down in presence of anyone. Otherwise, you cannot bow down anyone. You want somebody who is subordinate to you to accept your dominance, you accept your authority. You cannot, a disciple supposed to bow down in front of the master, but master not supposed to bow down in front of the disciple. So sometimes you will feel strange. Why this man, he is a master, I am a disciple, I am growing. Why did he bow down to me and he bent and greeted me? This happened with Deepankar Buddha. Buddha Gautam was not enlightened then and he went to meet a Buddha named Deepankar. 
Deepankar was sitting down. Gautam bowed down to Deepankar. Deepankar got up from his seat and he bowed down to Gautam also. This was strange. Gautam could not understand. He said, my vow to you is acceptable. You are enlightened. I am not. So I must bow down to you. Why did you bow down to me? He said, everyone is a seed of awakening is a Buddha. Everyone is a Buddha. Today I have blossomed. You are in the process. Tomorrow you are, have to blossom. And when you will blossom, I will not be alive. So, and maybe I may not have the opportunity to meet you again. Maybe for some reasons, this is the first, this is the last meeting. So I must bow down to you. So you are seeing that Chaman, that absence of mind all around, the entire cosmos pulsating in a joy. Aman, Naman, Chaman, and these are the three words Aman, Chaman, Naman. And then you can say another one, Suman. Su means beautiful, man means mind. When mind has become beautiful, and suman also means flower, means your mind has become, has blossomed as a flower. So, aman, chaman, naman, suman, four words. Just by adding a prefix, it becomes different. So you know that mind is an interaction between ego and time and meditation is an interplay. I am using the two words. Meditation is not an action, it is a play. And mind exists because of interaction. The moment action changes to play, the process of disappearance of the mind begins. The process of the beginning of meditation starts. So, the Aman, Chaman, Naman, Suman. Beautiful words. Suman is a female name. We give this name to female being. Aman is also a, gay, is a, is a masculine name, a boy's name, Aman. Only this much for this morning. Hope that we get an opportunity again to have a dialogue, a talk with you again soon. Take care and do have a pleasant day.